Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode for Agent Force for Everyone. In this episode, we are going to learn how to invoke flows from record summary prompt template. So we are currently on episode number 24 and in the previous episode in 22 and 23, we understand how to create the record summary prompt template and how to invoke the apex from the record summary prompt template. Now, whatever we have done in the previous episode to get the data from our apex class for cases, contacts and opportunities. And now we are going to do the same thing with flows. So without wasting any time, let's quickly jump to the org and fetch our data from our flows. So this is my existing record summary prompt template, which I'm going to use for this episode, where I am giving this prompt to the LLM to please generate a nice paragraph for the account, having all the account related data, such as name, type, industry, ratings, annual revenue, created date, modified date. And then I'm also asking to generate the related records, such as contacts, uh, let's say open opportunities, cases, orders, and any important notes or recent activities from this Apex. So this Apex is basically fetch account data for record summary prompt template we have written in the previous episode to find out all the contacts, cases, and opportunities. Now I am going to remove this Apex class and I am going to replace this with flow and I will show you how you can call your flow from record summary prompt template. So let me first save this prompt template and I can go and start writing the flow. So I'm going to the flows and new flow next so our flow should be a template triggered prompt flow in order to make this flow available to launch from record summary prompt template or from any prompt template so let's choose this and click create now we need to select automatic inputs and then we need to select the type of our prompt template because we are working on record summary prompt template that means the capability should be record summary template and we need to choose on which object you want to run this flow. So I want to run this flow on account because I need the account data from my prompt template. That's it. That's done. And then I can click on the plus icon and then I have this add prompt instruction where I can add the instruction where I can basically provide the data. So this data can be passed to the prompt template. Before I provide the data, I need to find all the cases, contacts and opportunities. So let's find one by one. So first I am going to find the contacts, get contacts, contact. Now I can query all my contact record with the help of account and this account ID I will receive in the input parameter because our flow receive the account as a input parameter. So this is object to summarize and then I provide the ID. So in this way, I can get all my contacts, which is related to the particular account where we are generating the summary and I can simply say all records. Then I can create a loop to iterate all the contacts choosing my collection variable and then finally I can remove this element and put inside the loop where I'm going to prepare the instructions. So let's say collect contact details. Here I'm simply saying contact details name. So the name is coming from current item dot name and I will also say email and this email is coming from current item dot email. That's it. And close. So once we have all the contacts, it is going to iterate and one by one it is adding to the prompt instructions. Then we are going to get the opportunities. So opportunity we can also find with the same way with the help of account and this account we can use input variable dot ID and getting all the records. Then again, putting a loop on opportunities iterate opportunities opportunities uh, and then adding the prompt instruction to get all the opportunity data collect opportunity details where opportunity details as let's say name so name will be current item from the opportunity dot name and let's also say a stage current item from opportunity stage that's it and the last let's get all the case records related to that account case where account id is equals to input dot object to summarize dot id get all the records then loop iterate cases collection of cases that's it and then adding a prompt to collect all the case information. 
so let's say case number so current item from case dot case number and let's say case status so current item from cases dot status that's it so what we have done uh, we created a template triggered prompt flow where we are finding all the contacts putting all the contact information to the prompt then concatenating all the opportunities information to the prompt and then also concatenating all the cases information to the prompt so the prompt in the end will have the details of their contacts cases and opportunities and let's save the flow so this is a record summary from template flow i'm just giving any name for account and save and i'm going to activate and then go back to this and refresh my prompt template so that i can see my flow and now a quick rundown for related records context opportunities cases orders so now i can use the flow from the resource and then i can see my flow record summary prompt template flow so this flow is going to give me all the cases context and opportunity records and then i can save this flow cool it's time to test let's say united oil and then click on preview so now in the left hand side you will see the resolution with all the values from the account and from the flow so i can see all the values from the account and i can also see all the values from the flow so the flow has provided the contact values and the opportunity values and the the cases cases the cases values so we will have everything and then it finally generates the summary which is the account for united oil is classified as a direct customer within the energy industry holding as a rating of hot and an annual revenue of 5.6 billion the account was created and the last modified on 29th april the account owner is responsible for managing several contacts including all the name of the contacts and their respective email addresses and then it has also mentioned about the opportunities and also where about the cases so all the cases are closed i can see that's why it must have said something about the cases as well no uh, yeah there are with a total of six closed cases and two new cases currently pending that's fine so this is how it generates the summary and the main purpose for this is how you can invoke the flow from your record summary prompt template so i hope you understand each and everything what you need to do in order to write a flow you make sure you, you write your flow on the uh, trigger record prompt flow and then you put automatic input and put the capability of record summary and then in the input object to summarize you will have your account details and then based on the account details you can query any any data from any object if your account is linked to the particular object so once your data is passed to the prompt the prompt then can pass the data the resolution to the llm and then the llm can generate the summary for you so this summary you can use anywhere in your system so that's all for today's video now in the next video which is episode number 25 we are going to do the vice versa so till now we have seen how to invoke apex and flows from record summary prompt template now we are going to see how to invoke record summary prompt template from apex flows and agent for agents so we are going to see one by one so i will see you guys in the next episode till then take care and thanks for watching